this old guy DIY video has to do with replacing the valve core in a 1986 Kubota L2550 tractor. So this tire has been leaking. You might be able to see the juice down there. It's kind of late, so the lighting's not that good. But what I learned is when I took the cap off the valve stem, the thing was just hissing air. So I didn't realize that it was a two-piece valve assembly until I read a little bit about it. So I went to Tractor Supply today, and I bought these for six bucks. And if I'm unsuccessful changing out the top half of the core, I'm going to put an extension on it. Those were also six bucks. So this is plan A, plan B. And I ran the valve stem up to the top of the tire. I was jacking up the tractor to take the load off of the thing. And I broke the handle right off my 20 year old farm jack. So I guess if you're gonna break one, right in the yard is as good a place as any. So now it's time for me to try to take that valve core off. And I have a little assortment of tools here. I'm going to start with the vice grip, just grab a hold of it, see if it turns off easy, and we'll go from there. I'm a guy that appreciates having two of everything. So when the handle broke off here, we went and got the Harbor Freight Special, and I grabbed back here near that rear wheel, and now the weight is off of the wheel. So there's our valve stem. And I loosened it up. Now with no weight on it, I'm hoping we're going to lose air, but not water. Or not calcium, whatever the hell they put on it. We'll see. Well, that plan didn't work so well, so... I'm going to shut off the camera, grab one of these new core housings, pull the old one off, and swap a new one on as quickly as I can. Well, I got the old one off. That's what it looks like. Looks like there was nothing there for me to grab with that core remover. And this is what the new one looks like. So I lay them side by side. They're very similar. So it's dark enough now that I can't do much with this video. So I'll just come back in the morning, recap. Well, it's the morning after. You can see the new valve there on the tractor tire. So I've owned a tractor for about 20 years and I never knew anything about valves in rear tractor tires until I had a problem about four days ago. So when I went to check the air before going to help a neighbor, uh, I pulled the valve stem cap off and this thing was just hissing letting air out So I took my super duper Valve core removal tool and I tried to take a valve core out expecting that it was going to be a valve core similar to what's in a car and There was nothing for the tool to grab onto so you can see that part that normally runs perpendicular to the sidewall is not there When we look at the new one from tractor supply that's what I was expecting on regular core so I suspect over the last 20 years this thing just got eaten up by whatever liquid was in the tire so anyway I did a little bit of online research and found that the valve is a two-piece valve the part here in my hand is the top piece as I understand it the bottom piece is there so you can fill the thing with liquid and have a hole that's this diameter, probably a quarter inch or so, so it's more effective to fill. Then you screw this thing in, and that provides the air valve so you can actually fill it with air and close off the deal. So I learned yesterday it's a two-part deal. I bought these parts, a set of two valves for $6 at Tractor Supply. And the one I replaced last night is apparently doing the job. I am not going to replace the other side because I had a problem with that tire in the past and that one is no longer filled with liquid and I'm kind of a guy that says if it's working just leave it alone so I'm not going to disrupt that valve stem today I'm just going to save the second one so I have stock if and when the next one fails but in the meantime I learned a little bit about valve stems on tractor tires and the change was pretty easy when I went in there I tried to twist this thing by hand 
and was unsuccessful. So it mounts into the tire like that. So I tried grabbing this knurling part and going counterclockwise and was unsuccessful. Then I grabbed it with a vice grip and it was tight enough that I thought I'm going to break this valve stem off. But since it was leaking anyway, I continued on and once it broke loose, I was able to spin it out by hand. As you saw in the earlier part of the video, the liquid just came spraying out. So I put the new stem in, we're back in business. Now that I know what I'm doing, if I had to do this job again, it would take $6 worth of parts from Tractor Supply, about 20 minutes of my time to jack up the tractor, spin the old valve end off, put the new one on, reinflate it with air. So I hope this little video helped you. Next I'll be making a video on repairing a handle on a farm jack. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day.